This is the big brother of the Bateria Power charge controller. This is an MPPT 12 and 24 volt. And because I was impressed by their little one, I got the bigger one. And in this video, I'm gonna put it up through all the tests. I'm gonna show you how to hook it up because a lot of people make the mistake. How does it work? What does it do? So as I said, it's an MPPT charge controller. It can handle 12 and 24. And that's important because I have a 24 volt system for my house. It comes with a really, really cool app. Let me show you how it plugs in and how does it work. Very important, it comes with uh, this type of a connection. And as you can see, positive is red and it's inside here, but also positive is red and is inside here. So a lot of the solar panels are reversed. Can you spot the difference? You see red, it's the inside connection and on this connector, red is the outside connection. So if your solar panel comes in with red on the inside connection, you're gonna need a conversion cable that will allow you to connect the solar panel to it. Now they thought about everything in the box and uh, this is a polarity changer. You get this with the unit and also you have these two connectors if you have to make your own cable. When you plug it in, what it does, it converts from positive to negative. So right now, if you look at this, you will see that I went from positive on the right side to negative on the right side, because some solar panels are working in reverse. This is a universal solar panel, and it comes with uh, this kind of connectors. Positive is always red and negative is always black. But if you are going to hook it up to an adapter, so this is an adapter that is gonna to convert to this connection for the uh, battery up power. Now you can clearly see that red went to black and black it's into red. And what that does is that now you have red in black, black is positive. So this is the positive connection and this is the negative connection. If you don't know what uh, connection you have, you could always use a voltmeter to find out. Very clear data. There it is. Positive 22.87 volts. To connect to a battery, you're gonna need a different kind of a cable, and this is the cable you're gonna need. You could see that positive is gonna be connected to positive over here. There's an output, and positive goes to positive, so red goes with red. Very important, you see, they're going in line. And that will and into these kind of connectors for the battery. And once you're 100% sure that the cables are right, you connect the terminals to the battery. And the battery of power is gonna come on and it's gonna tell you that the battery is at 13.3 volts and uh, you could set it up as a lithium iron phosphate, which this one is. Now the battery of power has certain settings. So if you press and hold this, it's gonna ask you a couple of things. First of all, it's gonna ask you what kind of a battery you have. So you're gonna set it up as lithium iron phosphate. Press and hold. It's gonna ask you, is it a 24 or a 12? Once I set it up on 12, press and hold. And now this error message should clear out, see? E000, it's gonna clear out and the battery is gonna start charging from the uh, panels that I have over here. So right now, it's pushing 5.1 amps into the battery. Of course, you have a really, really nice app that is going to give you a lot of information as far as uh, the charging and all that stuff. So it's gonna tell you how many watts, um, how many volts, how many um, amps you have going through, also how much power it went through. So it's gonna keep you a track of everything that is going through the battery in and out and it's going to give you a full report of everything. So what if you want to use it on a 24 volt battery system? So this is 24 volts. Well, it will work exactly the same uh, connectors that I had before, comes into the battery up power, and then it automatically turns on. You have to press and hold this, change lithium iron phosphate, press and hold, and then it's going to recognize the LFP 12, 24 volt, press and hold. And now I have a little error code saying that, that I have no input power. So what I have to do right now is I have to give it power from the outside. Now I have another solar array that runs this uh, inverter and I'm gonna plug it in real quick. Again, I'm gonna verify the input. So I should have 
positive over here and negative over there. So negative and positive. And I'm going to read on the on the voltmeter, 40.9 volts. So this is good. And now you can hook it up to the battery of power. The air is going to clear. See, the, the air just cleared out. And right now it's starting charging at 26.8 volts. That's where the battery banks are. And it's charging with 3.3 amps. As far as like the data goes, I'm going to pull up the app real quick and show you. But again, we have the voltage, we have the amps, we have the wattage. It does automatically calculate the wattage for you. Also gives you a little bit of a historical information. And you have a graph that you can look at to see how much power you put in or you took out. So it's specifically designed to work with a 24 volt or a 12 volt system. As soon as I open up the box, this was the first thing that popped is the manual saying that you have to be very careful as far as this goes. Always have a voltmeter next to you. Always check the polarity because you don't want to create problems. This unit is fairly resistant, but if you give it too much power and too much uh, amps the wrong way, then you could burn it. As far as the rating goes, so I was reading on a manual that it can handle up to 600 watts. It has a temperature sensor in it. It will be able to turn itself off so it can do about 20 amps. So it says over here it can do 10 or 20 amps. And 20 amps at 24 volts, it's about 600 watts. So the manual is very, very clear as far as that goes. Very easy to use. I think it's one of the better brands out there. They really think about the little stuff. My first experience with them was with this older model. And then when I needed something that was 24 volt, I didn't even think twice. I went and got another battery of power because this just worked so well for me and I'm happy with the little brother. Thanks for watching.